So I got a new car. Yeah, yeah. A, a while ago. The Audi. We're not getting... Yeah, an Audi. I'm looking at your Volvo sitting outside. Yeah. yeah. So we're in the same realm. Illegally park, I am. That oh, doesn't matter. Yeah. And we're not getting on. Some oh, things have happened. The car and you aren't getting on. Not getting on. Uh, well, can, uh, can I take? Can you be my therapist? Yeah. Okay. Tell 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 us all that are listening. Yeah, because um, you know it's a first world problem. I realise that. No, I know people in third world have cars and don't get on them. Yeah, but you know this is a highfalutin one. Mm. The problem is highfalutin. There's no uh, Audis in uh, Bangladesh. Do we have listeners there? I don't know if we're getting in Bangladesh. Mm. Do we have listeners in the developing world? I'd like to think so. That we we work for you know all audiences, uh, that we're relatable. So the car has beepers that tells you when you're getting near things. Oh, I hate that. So I've got beepers at the front, I've got beepers at the back, I've got cameras. I've got, as we said before, I've got a camera that makes it looks like a shot from a satellite. Mm. I've got other ones, white lines, red lines, mm. beeping. And does it do that thing where it pulls you off the road too? Oh, it does that as well. Oh, oh yeah, it takes over. I hate that. Yeah, by the way, take hold of the steering wheel. I am holding the steering wheel. Okay, I haven't turned for a little while, but it doesn't mean I'm not holding, yeah. holding the steering wheel. Gives me a beep, gives me an alert, tells me mm. off. I don't like it. Mm. So anyway, and I'm, I had to go to the hospital the other day, pick someone up. They're fine. We took them home, okay? They're fine. No problem there. But going there, I was probably a little bit stressed, you know, trying to Stressful. get Stressful, yeah. yeah. And I'm parking the car, and all the beepers went off because it was a tight hospital car park. Mm. All the beepers going off. And because they were all going off, I didn't know what was happening around what was you. Happening. Where was the crisis? Mm. So I just went bang straight to the mirrors. As I'm parking, I'm going, I am nailing this park. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm, Because I'm doing a reverse park Mm. where you go in. So when you get the person from the hospital, you can drive straight out, coming out, not backing out Mm. into into moving cars. I go, I go, here we go. And I'm I'm swung um, and I'm ready to commit. And I hear, (laughs) oh, no. Into a pile on. Oh. Brand new car. Into a pole. Into a pole, yeah. I sat there and went, this is not good. Did you hit it on the back or the side of the car? The side of the car. Oh, that's worse because then you'd get stuck on it. Um, paused and went, this is not good, but I won't tell the person that I'm picking up from the hospital because it'll make them upset. Yeah, 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 it's no good. Uh, that, you know, it's not their fault. I, you know, I that you're a my, bad driver. Yeah, thanks for picking up from the hospital and I crashed my car doing it, but mm. hey, I'm not a martyr. So uh, I got out and went, oh dear, that's not good. So that's one thing. So the car is over-talking to me. Hmm. So then a couple of days later, the car goes, oh, by the way, you need an oil change. Oh, and I yeah, go, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah, I get yeah. it. Okay, yeah. I know. I need an oil change in a 1,000 kilometres. Yeah. The car doesn't like that. Right. The car then, of its own doing, contacts Audi. Wow. And tells Audi that it needs an oil change. Doesn't think that I'm capable of ringing up Audi to book it in for an oil change. That's car- incredible. And then so Audi ring me and say, oh, you need an oil change. And I go, how did you know? You go, well, they go, well, the car told us. <laughs> that car's out of control. That car? That car's a nightmare. Who does that car think it is? You'd break up. You've got a wife to tell you what to do. You don't need a car. <laughs> I, we're, we're, it's like when I was at the parking meter the other day, and I put, I tapped on the thing, or whatever you do, you tap to put the, mm. and the parking meter goes, I'm contacting the bank. You go, you're yeah. a parking meter. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're, you are you contacting know, the bank on my behalf. You're to- the parking meter is talking to the bank. You know what's even worse is that if you park down in Mornington Shire on the beach and you overstay the time limit, it automatically sends you a fine. So the parking meter contacts a council and sends you out a fine. There's no guy walking around chalking tyres anymore. It's just a computer. It's a robot saying, you have stayed too late. You have stayed over ten minutes. Fine. And that's part of the game. Is it? Is it you? You know, you, you get away with it yeah, occasionally. You get over ten minutes. You're down yeah, the beach. Yeah, you're down. They're having a good time, and you, you go. I got it's away terrible. with that one. But then you sometimes you stay over a bit too long. You, you know what? I've had plenty of times where I have stayed too long. Of extra ten minutes, I'm happy to pay for this one. For all the times I got away with it, pay for the one. But you know, that's An automatic fine. You don't even get it on your windscreen. It just comes in the mail. No, that's a disgrace. Because I had a parking officer say to me once, you know what you do? You buy yourself some chalk. Yeah, yeah. And you don't put a mark on the tires. You put, can I say this? You put a star on there. Like this. A star. Right. That means you're special. Right. So I, all somehow related like listeners. The, the star of David. Like a Jewish no, like thing. A, like a star like no. that. Like lots of crosses. Like that. Yeah, but that's, there's no chalk anymore, I don't reckon. There's, no one's chalking tires anymore. Maybe in the country. Yeah. I reckon anyone's chalking tyres. You've got to break up with your computer. You've got to tell your... My car. Yeah, you've got to break up with it. We're going to have a talking to. Yeah. Because, Listen. It, you know, it, it, it's 
it it's a bit uppity. You need but to get you it, need to get an older car that's had several partners. <laughs> And they're a bit more relaxed. I reckon this is like your new bride. But would it have a, would it have a German accent? Yeah, it be, yeah. It, it, would it, it would yeah, be like course, uh, uh, yeah. you need oil change right now. You will have oil change. Schnell, schnell, <laughs> schnell to the you service have station. You have into the war one too and many imagine, times. Imagine if you went to just a normal servo instead of get, taking it to Audi. It'd be what is this? <laughs> this is not the oil we wanted. <laughs> just start squirting in your face. That's the next step. They'll start physically punishing you, that car. I because oh, because it got squirters. He's saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squirt yeah. you in the face, or just people always talk about on Facebook how the, the electric cars are just going to turn off. The car, the, the government are controlling them. They're just going to turn off one day. So you know it'll just turn itself off, and you can't because it's all computer controlled. That car. I just think the world is. What has come happened to the world? No, it's no good. Yeah, it's, it's no, no good. good. No good. Too I, many beeping in cars. Too many. Too many. Beep, too many. I don't know how this works, and, and I don't know. You know. You know. Uh, can my ca- car reverse park itself? I think it can, but I, I'm too scared to push the button. Oh, can it do it itself? Well, it's got that button on it, but I don't want to. Tr- I don't trust it. No. I just, I don't, because it, it... No, it's a bit like those uh, self-driving cars are always running someone over. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Do you think this, this show would ever be taken over by... Com- robots. Uh, German robots. Because we could do an AI version of this show. Yeah, yeah, we could. You know there's a, there's a thing that they do now, AI, they can, you can edit the show? Oh, uh, yeah, you don't want that. No. AI can take all the ums and the ahs out. Oh, really? Yeah, because if I... Um, so I'm going to do um, ah, um, 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 and it'll just take it out automatically. But that's sometimes funny. It's, it's, you know, I don't think it's a good thing, AI. I like, I like the ums and ahs being taken out. I say too many of them. Um, really? Yeah. Um, is, yeah. That, is that really oh, you, Dave O'Neill? That's really me. I'm not a German robot. And this is really me. If you're worried that mm. this, this has been taken over by AI... It hasn't. It's real? Yeah. And, th- and how do we prove that it's real? How do you? We are real. We like, are real. I, 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 we, I'll turn into Kel Knight. There you go. There you oh, go. Yeah. Hey, switch. Uh, there you go. Hey, oh, I, oh, I can't do you. that. Can you turn into someone else to prove that? Be be the man from the. From they the, broke it. Yeah. That'll be AI eventually. I'll just turn up one day. It'll be a you computer sitting easily, there. You yeah. could easily do yeah, that. It'll be a computer sitting there going going to me. Lad broke it. Lad <laughs> broke it. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, I play the music chord. Sam, she's kind of AI. Ooh, is she? Ooh, she's AI. She would not, don't you? Don't, don't you say that? She's AI. You AI, Sam? Oh, here comes the music. Welcome to Somehow Related. Now, please welcome your hosts, Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. Ooh, she's a bit testy. No, no. Oh, man. Fair enough, too. She does, happy. A lot of, she does a lot of hard work for this show. You can't be... Calling her AI. Yeah, being disrespectful. All right. Uh, here we are. Well, And I listened to last week's episode, and we talked a lot about food. Was it last week's episode? The week oh, it was before. a couple of weeks, a few weeks ago. The spring ago. roll one you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Love me a spring roll. It made roll. me feel like going out and getting a spring roll. Yeah, that's what Courtney, our producer, said. He had to stop halfway. And I did. You got one? Yeah. Not from Ollie's. Giant Springs. No, because that's not easy. But I did. No. Next time I went to a Vietnamese, you got a spring roll or Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Uh, I got a spring roll with some salad. Cheers. Anyway, um, here we are. Two topics. How were they related? What are they, Sam? World of Warcraft and Chinese prisoners. Boy, that's she's going obscure. Chinese prisoners in the world. Well, yeah. you know, World of Warcraft's a computer game. You know that. Well. Was have a movie. I, was okay, a movie. hang on. Let, it was a movie too. I'm an early uptaker in that I would play Tetris. <laughs> oh yeah, Pong. Oh, I was before you. I was with Pong. Was that the tennis game? Yeah, yeah. Pong was good. Real basic. And that was like a coffee table. Hmm. Wasn't it like a table. You know, you, no, no. You plug it into your TV, Pong. Oh, but there was also ones that you could sit at at the milk bar. Yeah, bottle. they're great. And, the, and, oh, and it was flat. I don't think Pong was on there. Was that? No, Pong was a game you plug into your TV. Oh, okay. So what was the... Oh, Spa- maybe I'm th- you're thinking of Space Invaders. Invaders. Oh, that was a good game. Great. And Galaga. Remember Galaga? No. That's fantastic. And then Frogger. There was about four or five big ones. <laughs> and Pac-Man. You remember Pac-Man? Pac-Man. Oh, you know the story about Pac-Man? No. Oh, it's not that good. But that was invented by the guy that he went out for dinner and he was really depressed because he was an inventor and he couldn't invent anything, and he ordered pizza, mm. and then he cut a bit of pizza out, and mm. then he looked at that remaining bit of pizza and mm. went, 
Oh, that looks like a creature. Wow. So if you look at... Yeah, it looks like a pizza. It's a bit of pizza with a bit of pizza taken That's out. That's somehow related right there. Yeah. And then if I remember rightly, didn't it go around like a little maze or something? Yeah. And you were chased and you had to yeah. eat dots or something? It's Mrs. Pac-Man too. Oh, was it? Yeah, that was later maybe. But I'm like you. Computer games were real on the edge of my childhood. They weren't around. I remember back in the, gee, the early 90s, a friend had a disc on a disc and it's called Mist and you had to go to an island and you had to find your way off the island oh. or something and it, and I god I was hopeless at it I couldn't get any of the clues and then and then but basically then the, the whole world blew up yeah I mean we, we we grew up with arcade games I'm an arcade game same here. and I was and and you know I would very quickly go back to a pinball machine so I I I, I have a dabble at the pinball and then I have a little dabble at the mm. at the and it was always late at night after you'd done a gig or something, mm. and they get in there and good fun, yeah, good fun. Yeah, we used to go down when we were kids to the bowling alley. They had a whole room of pinball machines. Pinball yeah, we still machines. go. We take the grandchild one. Oh, really? Yeah, he, we shoot zombies. We shoot dinosaurs. Well, then there's shoot 'em up games too, isn't there? With the actual gun, where you sit down, or you drive the car. Yeah, you know, the Daytona. And you drive yeah, the car. I don't reckon they're in that much different, really, to the original. No, no, they're not. My, my son's always like, "Oh, you know, computer games. They teach intelligence and they teach this and that." Then you walk past, and he's just shooting people. I remember the James Bond one where he was in. It's like this corridor. He'd run, and he had like three moves. He was running, and then it was he dropped down to his knee with his gun, and then he had climbing. Oh yeah, and that was it. Yeah, and then people would come and you shoot the people, and it was quite. Well, there's ones now like Minecraft where you build things and stuff, which seems quite so. It's really popular. So you like building a tribe or a village or something, no, and know. you defend it, and you get attacked. And actually, don't know. My kids play it, and they play. Do they people all and around the world. Yeah, and there's the coffee machine in the background, um, <laughs> <laughs> and there's um, for- <laughs> Fortnite. It's a big shoot 'em up game. Yeah, but that's where Hughes he heard his um, he was walking past and he heard his son go, "Kill them all, kill all the villagers, even the babies." That's what. Because he... <laughs> isn't and he's like, "Kill Raph, kill Raph, whoever's on, kill Raph, he's gonna have dinner, kill him, kill is, him." Is that the Fortnite? Is that the one that where sometimes people have done shit, uh, uh, gone crazy at schools with guns that they've been playing Fortnite? Not really, not really. So, well, I mean, it might be, but you know, the Columbine shooting was the first. You know, sort of famous high school shooting in America. Remember the Columbine yeah, shooting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those, Eric, what's the name of the guy? Eric and someone else. They went 10-pin bowling before they, oh, apparently. Really? But were computer games around when they were shooting up? They used to blame heavy metal for, for violent crimes, and they started blaming computer games. But there's something wrong with you if you're playing computer games and you go and shoot people. That's right. Well, I, mean, I used to play I, Cowboys and Indians. Yeah, it's not I, a, I was shooting people all the time, and I was I, kidding. I didn't end up going mad with a gun. I don't think it's the computer game's fault. We were talking about this the other day. I was on tour and I was saying Can Billy, you finish that? Billy Can Styles, the other comedian I was on tour with. We were talking about mass shootings. And I don't know why. And then I said, Columbine, there weren't actually that many killed in Columbine. How many people were killed in Columbine? Oh, I don't, it's a horrible thing to talk about. But okay, I think it was two. Two. Oh, really? Only, well, isn't it terrible? How I know, it's terrible when you go, oh, only two. It's yeah. only two. Two or three, I think it was. Anyway. And sometimes they now, they if it's below a certain number, they report it. Oh, it's terrible. And then they do the whole thing. There were Australians involved. You go, I know, the Australians, yeah. You go, oh, there were Australians. They're Australian hang, on, involved. Hang, on, hang on, they're people. They're all people. They're all people. They're, they're all people. You know, and if there are Australians there, yeah, it's very sad, but it doesn't, let's not separate it. Well, so the iconic computer games, what's the one where you, they talk about, my kids talk about, and it's been around for about 30 years. Grand Theft Auto. Yes, that's the one. GT, GTA, mate. Yeah. GTA. Initially, there's like, I don't know. You just drive around and and, and chase people and you rob you steal cars and you and you mm. uh, was there a, obviously there's violence and you mm. fight people. Mm. Is there sexual things as well? Oh, I think some of the women look like they are prostitutes. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> some sort of dancers in the early versions, but I know World of Warcraft is more like your Dungeons and Dragons. It's a role playing game where you choose a role or something. Yeah, like no. you're a king or you're a serf or you're a we should talk to someone who knows more about it than us because we our knowledge of computer games is very, very oh, small. Yeah, very small because uh, we uh, kind uh, of missed out on it. Well, all I know is people said, "Do you want to have a go?" And I just go, "I'll get a sore neck because I get so tense by holding the, the thing, mm. and I'll be sitting on the couch and well, I go, I don't see, want to do this." Yeah, no, the kids are going, "We're we going to get a wee dad." I said, "We're going one better. We're getting a poo. It's even better." It's <laughs> my great joke. There was, Shut up, Dad. Some people, because they get addicted. Oh, there's a dad at school. I go, "What have you been doing all day?" He goes, "I've been playing Fortnite with my mate." All day. 
He played all day. Um, and is there, he's like 45. Is there a sense of achievement that you get? Do you go, okay, no, well, that was the day. Obviously, you can't think that was You know, day. the thing that shocks me is that my son, who's 15, watches other people playing computer games. And these guys, there was a guy called Graham who used to play, I think he's a British guy, mine, plays Minecraft, right? Now, everyone pays to watch Graham play Minecraft. And this guy goes on tours and stuff where people pay to watch Graham and I looked up Graham's net worth. He's worth one point five million dollars. This guy just from playing a computer game and having other people watch him. And his, so he's like a porn star or something. You know, you know what I mean? People are paying to watch this guy do something well. Do you pay to watch porn? Well, you used to, didn't you? Not, not, what do you mean? You're saying I did? No, I don't know. <laughs> did you? What the, what, you had I, to buy a magazine or go to the X-ray. Oh, I was just saying because I, I thought. I thought anyway. I like, hey, I met a lovely lady at the supermarket the other day, Lynn, Linda. And I thought she she um, she looked familiar. No, not meaning when we talk about inappropriate things. Think of Linda because she's you know. So don't be making. Are you going to say she's a porn star? No, she's not. A, no, gee, that got even worse no, but, for Linda. Uh, but, but but my point <laughs> is that. But sometimes you meet people yeah. who listen to the show. I know you go. Oh my god! Some of the things we talk about. Or I meet uh, teenagers that listen to the show. You see that therefore you go. If I was thinking about, we're making pretty it, PG though. We're pretty good. I was going to make an inappropriate joke then, but but I didn't because I thought of Linda. She'll be listening, mm. and and I don't want to offend her. Yeah, but often women, a name like Linda, she'd be around my age. Linda's no, she's a bit older than me. Yeah, well, there you go. She'd no, be a, I don't want to say how old she is. That's not, inappropriate. Oh, God. Gee, oh. Poor Linda's been slagged. She's hey, been slagged off on this show. Do you want a feel-good moment about mm. older people? Mm. I was, I've was just been in Noosa. Whatever. I've got an Audi and mm. I've been in Noosa. Noosa. And I was surfing. So, Noosa. So, and I was surfing. Oh, God, can you believe I still surf? Yes, I do. Uh, and there was a lady. She was in her latter years. Mm. And the twilight uh, years, the yeah. golden years. And she, uh, I said, she goes, Oh, that was a good wave you caught. And I thought, Oh, thanks very much. I said, Am I rude if I ask you how old you are? You're out here surfing. She said she was 78. She was surfing? Yeah, she took it up when she was 60. Wow. She had a sore, she said, I'm not surfing very well today because I've got a bit of a sore shoulder. And, and I said to her, Well, just keep out of my way. <laughs> no, no. I, I said, you said you are an inspiration, an inspiration. And she said, you know, I am the national over seventy uh, surfboard champion. No, I'm not bragging. Yeah, I said enough about that. But having said that, she said, you know what I had to do? I, I, no one else was in the competition. She just had to turn up. <laughs> Fantastic. Go out, catch one wave, and she was a national champion. Wow. Oh, anyway, and I said, well, I hope I'm surfing uh, like you when I'm seventy-eight. She said, no hope. You will. My friend, and then, oh. I, and then I paddled off. No hope. And she was taken by a shark, which was very sad. sad. She, no, uh, you couldn't uh, do anything for her. No, I did my best, which means there was one less person in the world. Anyway. Well, let's let's talk to someone who knows about computer games. Can we call one of your kids? Yeah, they're all at school. One's at uni, so God knows what he's doing. No, he's probably you know who's a big gamer? My brother, Mark, who's never been on this podcast, the middle child. Would he have interesting information about, you know? Well, you know, Mark quite funny. As mum said, he's the really funny one, so... I met him at the funeral. At yeah, mum's yeah. funeral. Yeah, all the brothers funny. were funny, yeah. insightful. All gave great speeches. He was the naughty one at school. I think you were all pretty naughty. Oh no, he was naughty. As mum said, you were the you were the worst. Now you're the best. <laughs> all right, we'll try ringing him. He works at a school as a tech. Yes, Mark. Hello, it's your brother David, and. And, now, and Glenn and, 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 and Mark, um, now, now, yeah, yeah, you're on the podcast. So how are you going, Glenn? Good, mate. We haven't seen, I haven't seen you since the, the lovely day I spent with the family, uh, your mother's funeral. <laughs> and, uh, it's a great day. <laughs> no, well, look, at, look, it's always a celebration of a life, and it was great to hear you guys talk. And I'll be honest with you. Whose speech was best, Mark's? Mark was pretty good. No, you're like the Marx Brothers. Yeah, uh, you're all you're all bringing something to the table, uh, and the, the the wake food was very good. Glenn took some with him, Mark. Some of that food. I oh, listen a little bit. <laughs> Did no, you put some in your pocket? No, I was speaking to one of the ladies over, the, and I couldn't <laughs> hear her properly. Remember this day? Yeah. And she said, "Are you the the you, funeral parlour guy?" Yeah, and because oh. I wasn't listening, I just went yes. I, I said yes to everything. She goes, she "I said. know you," and, she, and then she said, "You're very good," and you said, "Thank uh, you." Yeah, uh, Oh, that's yes, yes, right. And, and then, yeah, and uh, so she thought I was the, the priest. 
No, not the she priest. She thought she'd been to a funeral that you had ran. <laughs> yes. Oh, really? She thought you were the not a priest, but a funeral parlour guy, I think. Like the, oh, okay. the undertaker. Yeah, well. You, you got know, that look to you. I do have that calming approach to, to life. I, I, I'm, that was, uh, well, not Bev, but Bev's daughter. Anyway. Um, Mark, you've got to tell Mark why we rang Mark, we're ringing to talk about computer games because you're, uh, you're a big gamer. Very big gamer. I enjoy them, but um, I was telling the Year 7 boys here the other day, they were asking about games, and I explained that when you're a married man, you get to play games after 11 o'clock at night on a Friday or a Saturday <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for a minimal amount of time if your wife doesn't want you to watch, you know, Bridgerton. Did you did not say that to a Year 7 group. Did you? No, you didn't say that. Yeah, yes. I was shattered. I was shattered. That's oh, what I said. Wow. If you get married... That's what's going to happen. So your gaming time gets cut down. That's what you're saying to these kids. Absolutely, because you've got to spend time with your family. <laughs> <laughs> what is your game uh, du jour? What are you, what yeah. are you playing what are you, at the moment? I still play uh, World of Warcraft oh. and I play Planetside 2. That's a multiplayer online shoot 'em up but it's futuristic. You know, you've got guys with jetpacks and you've got tanks with lasers and um, that's been around for about... 10 years and so, so it's still, yeah. If we're talking about World of Warcraft. So explain to us what, is it like Dungeons and Dragons? A bit, it's a role-playing game, isn't it? Or Well, you can play it for free up to level 20, right? So what you do is you create a character and you choose a class. And this is where it gets, like it's very, very complex. And well, the amount of options, you you can choose, you know, to be male or female and um, all different uh, colors and races, and uh, there you can choose like different classes. There's um, death knights, what are you, demon hunters, druids, Pri- mages, a, a school, monks, a school paladins, teacher, priests, <laughs> <laughs> grave digger, I'm a technician. I'm a my one of my characters. I've got two characters. I've got Uthadul, and he's a level 48 warrior. <laughs> And uh, then I've got the one I've been using lately is Blitz Blitzol, but is and there, he's a what's he? sixty six shaman, level sixty six shaman. Oh, but shaman. is there a core thing, core thing to uh, to achieve? Is there? Yeah, what are you, yeah, what you, are you trying? Yeah, what do you fight or what do you do? You could spend the whole game just farming cabbages. <laughs> <laughs> Great Friday night for you. Exactly. And so you uh, you can collect cloth. You appear as your character and, you know, you can option them up so they look pretty cool and everything. And uh, then you run around. So it's like first person, you're looking out their eyes or you're looking from behind. Uh, it depends on which perspective you choose. And so you run around and there's creatures hanging around like, um, let's say, a, a ball. So you run up and you're given a basic weapon. Like a, I've got a big, I started off with a big stick thing. And you run up and you start hitting the boar. And when, when you kill it, after it tries to attack you too, so your health goes down. But when you kill it, then you get a little bit of um, gold. Oh. So you get some loot. So you might get a bit of cloth. That way your wife goes, darling, what are you doing in there? I'm killing a boar. <laughs> I'm killing a boar with, with a stick. <laughs> Come and watch television with me. No, this is really, really important. <laughs> Do you play with real people, other people that are around the world on yeah. there, or do they turn up? It, the best fun of all is if you are with some friends, yeah, right? Be because I'm an older guy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. My friends don't uh, play it, of course. They think that's ridiculous. And um, I do bump into people. So you, you run around this world, so it's vast, right? And there's different islands, and it's just there's volcanoes, there's cities, there's, and there's people in them. And so there's... First of all, there's computer-generated characters, NPCs, non-player characters, and they they can talk to you and things, but you know they're like uh, AI characters. Oh, and then there's yeah. real people. You'll know them because they'll probably try and attack you. <laughs> How long would you play in a session for? A couple of hours? Yeah, people play for hours. I, I'd play for about say. Two or three hours, three hours or something. And like that. after you've had a session, the how do you feel after you've achieved something, <clears> you've, or do you feel like you've read a book that's really? What is the emotional response you have when you put the uh, disappointment, <laughs> uh... depression, <laughs> waste of time? Because your kids play. No. T- my kids play. Your kids. Because I remember um, your son was they telling did. me they did. He talks to girls on the internet that, and I'm like, yeah, they may. As we pointed out to him, they may not be girls. You know what I mean? No, they're not girls. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> no, you. I mean, it's possible. There's more girls playing games at what? the moment, what? of course, than what? ever. And World of Warcraft is one of the ones they they like because it's um, you can fashion your characters on well, on women. And uh, yeah. Well, my son always says, Dad. He always forty eight percent of gamers are women. I'm like, are they? Well, they I just don't say think that. So. I don't reckon. <laughs> These other games I play, anything to do with shoot 'em ups, you know, like uh, this uh, Planet Side Two or Call of Duty, it's just violent yeah. men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it doesn't take much before someone says, "I'll effing, you know, I'll come and get you." And <laughs> yeah, then it's all bang, bang, bang. And you feel good when you get th- then you get them first, and that makes makes you feel really good. The first person shooters, there's snipe, there's usually snipers and stuff, right? So you're just hanging around, I stick my head out of my tank, I'm looking around and saying, bang, and someone shoots you in the head and you go, right. And then you you respawn and you get out and, the, and you go have a look around again and bang, you get shot again. And you just go, right, where is this guy? So what you do then is you respawn as a jetpack guy, right, for shotgun, and I just fly around looking in all these mountains till I find this guy and he's invisible. <laughs> so then you have a like a dark flashlight on your shotgun so you, it'll illuminate this guy hiding in the rocks so then you run up behind him and shotgun him. <laughs> so this is good old-fashioned fun, Glenn. <laughs> it hasn't got me. Then again, but look, I play golf. Taught I, him a lesson. I, yeah. He's learned I, a lesson. I play golf. I, I've got a bag of sticks and a ball, and I hit it into a little hole in the ground. I think I'm achieving as much as you are. In you know, If it's Ooh. satisfying, if it makes you feel good, who am I to judge? Exactly. I, I, I wish you well, sir. Golf's addictive, isn't it? Mm. Oh, it is. It is a little bit, yeah. But it's it's a stupid. It's it's well, stupid. It really is. What's the connection you think, Mark, between World of Warcraft and Chinese prisoners? What do you think? Is there a connection that you could think of? Or no, there is. There's a. Um, I was I was reading before about um, a virtual virus that was spread in World of Warcraft, and people, their online characters are getting infected. So there are real world connections oh. and. Uh, like it resembled a real virus. Anyway, uh, like I said, when you kill a, a monster, you get a certain amount of loot or gold, mm-hmm. right? So that's the currency in World of Warcraft. And um, if you make enough money from gold, you can sell it. Oh, really? In the real world. Oh, it's illegal, but um, people do it, right? So I remember that um, these Chinese prisons were getting prisoners to play World of Warcraft for, this is back uh, 10 years ago, they were getting them to play World of Warcraft for, let's uh, you know, like 12 hour shifts. Better than breaking a uh, rock in the hard sun, isn't yeah. it? You know, like... It is, uh, sitting in front of a computer, but if they, I read something that if they didn't mine enough gold, which is their characters running around with a virtual pick, digging out gold in a virtual world um, and if they don't earn enough they used to get beaten with plastic pipes that's what I heard but what was the what, why, why were they making them do it to, to what make, end? because to the, make the prison warden can uh, sell that virtual gold for actual money for real oh, money okay no, they, that might be the answer mm. people will buy this virtual oh, there's a whole gold out there, yeah. and mm. they'll pay real money for it because then they can buy a new suit of armor for their character or something like that yeah right well, that's so amazing. I mean, I can't imagine ever buying anything. I mean, you pay to play anyway. Once yeah. you're over level twenty, I think it's about seventeen dollars a month Australian. Oh, that's a lot um, of money. Well, you know, that's like your Spotify or something like that. So mm. it's like all these things. Yeah, you've got to sort of work out what's. In, I mean, you know, does a Spotify subscription give your family more fun than a World of Warcraft subscription? Yeah, I mean, that's the real question. Interesting. Oh well, and uh, would your wife use it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Mark. That's all good. So that's the connection. I think that they, yeah, yeah they they were using real prisoners to mine gold and make money. Oh. And I don't think they can. I don't think they do it anymore. And I don't think it was condoned by the Chinese government. But um, yeah, right. Interesting. It okay. is. All right. Well, we might see you guys online. Yeah. <laughs> I look forward to it. Thanks, Mark. But Thanks, Mark. Have you got a good character name you could choose, do you reckon? Cal's Knight. There yeah. you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Russell's Court. I think that's, yeah. I think that's taken. <laughs> okay, now it's time to talk about Chinese prisoners. It's very it's specific. I was thinking the other day, I was, um, there is a, one of the Batman movies that starts in a Chinese prison. Really? Yeah, and I Googled it. It's um, Batman Begins, and I watched it. Oh, it's great. You ever seen Batman Begins? No. You don't know. I'm not a big superhero fan, but the Batman movies are quite good. 
But anyway, the Chinese prison look. I mean, you think Australian prisons are, are bad? Imagine a Chinese prison. Whoa. But we don't know. Maybe they. No. Maybe. Oh, maybe they're luxurious. Maybe they're. You know. <laughs> no, I think we know. I think they're pretty brutal. By what I've seen on television. <laughs> what would you be going to prison for there? Stealing. It's just standard stuff. Stealing a dim sim recipe yeah, or something. Yeah, bicycle. Or, yeah. No, I think these days, you know, and also you've got a communist government that are putting people in prison just for speaking out. And also foreigners, also like journalists and stuff who yeah. say the wrong thing. They Do they, do yeah. we need to watch what we're saying? We don't oh, want to be... Oh, wow. That's really interesting because there's a there's a great um, Chinese a car comic. just pulled up over the yeah. road. Yeah, go on, Looking sorry. At, there's a great Australian... Chinese, well, she's Chinese, yeah. Ha, ha Huan, yeah, and she um, she lives in Australia now, but she swears that she has Chinese spies like watching her at gigs. Well, she said laugh. there's a Chinese woman just sitting down the front staring at her. I bet that because they send out people to monitor yeah. because no, but because it's interesting because if they have say a protest at Melbourne Uni against the Chinese, all these pro Chinese protesters will turn up, and they're all students that are studying here and people that live here. And they and they'll fight with the um, anti Chinese protesters. They've been sent. They've been alerted by the government. Go to this university where they're protesting against the you know the Chinese. So government. they'll put Chinese prisoners into a computer, and our podcast will come up, and they'll go. Right. Let's find out what Uncle Arthur and right. the guy from the Nugget are talking yeah. about yeah. in terms of yeah. the uh, political system in China. If we suddenly go off the air, right? That's what's happened. Well, all these people that say, "Oh, we're living in a dictatorship." In Australia, it's like, yeah, try living in China, where if you protest in the street, you're just gone. Well, that's- every time I go to Chinatown, I feel okay. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of yum cha, that's a, you know, there's no problem there. Have you been to China? No, I've been to Hong Kong. Oh, well, then you've been to China. Well, it wasn't China then. No, you were, yeah, you were there when it was probably better, I reckon. Well, uh, uh, is it any different now? Yeah, I think so. Is it a lot different? Not a lot. Far, no. I don't know. I haven't been there. Then, no, well, apparently, you know, there was you know, there was going to be a lot of change to yeah. the way things were run in Hong Kong. but And there were, was uprisings, wasn't there? Yeah. And Protests. Yeah. And they just put them in jail. See you later. I'm getting worried. I don't think we should. What else can we say? Can we say anything nice about Chinese Chi- prisoners? I wonder what games they play in China in Chinese prisons. <laughs> Chinese checkers? What are we? <laughs> I wonder if they've got weightlifting like you see in American prisons where they just lift weights, you know? But when they line up for their food mm. with a tray, would they get rice? Do they get rice? Do they get rice? Do they use chopsticks? Hey, that's a good... In Batman Begins... Mm. They have chopsticks because he uses them as a weapon against people, and, and he starts and would fighting. they would the food come around on a, one of those trains? Like, it, oh, that's Japanese, isn't it? <laughs> Sushi train. <laughs> Sorry. No, do, do the tables have a lazy susan on it? Do the tables have yeah, a lazy do the, susan? Yeah, I mean, what sort of would they have soy sauce? Probably it would be a standard like tomato sauce over there. I don't know. know. I don't know. I, I think our version of Chinese food is very different from their version. Of would Chinese they have fried food. rice? You'd reckon. You'd reckon that. And reckon. would they have dim sims? They'd have some version of that, but they, I don't know if they'd have it in Chinese prisons. In Batman Begins, when he gets he gets served some food and it looks like slop, like you get in an American prison. So, I well, don't know. my experience with Chinese food has always been a good, except when they put too much MSG in there. Yeah, the hairs on the back of my neck stand up a little bit and I go a bit funny. Do they control the MSG? Is it like smoking, where they got to you know, or, or is there fights over the MSG? Oh yeah, who, absolutely. Who gets some, yeah. Who, who's yeah. got who's got a pack of MSG? Yeah. I'll trade you four packs mm. of MSG for a cigarette, mm. that kind of thing. I, I, I think all of this would be relevant. I think it'd be brutal, Chinese prison. Because there's people always that get convicted in Thailand or whatever, and they go, well, I want to come back to Australia and serve my sentence. Mm. Because they just know that Australian prisons are better than like a Thai prison or a Chinese prison. Are there any movies about Chinese prisons? No. Why? Are Good there any question. documentaries about them? No. No, I can't get in there, probably. No. Are there... I mean, on occasion, I've seen things where people are in court and you've seen them... Who was in court? Who was in jail there? Was a journalist and he just came down this corridor, but he was still behind bars and... Yeah, it looked it full looked, on. Yeah, full on. It's uh, full on. What are the big movies in prisons? Shawshank. Shawshank Redemption. Uh, you know, Cool Hand Luke. Midnight Express. Mm, that's a Turkish prison. That scared people. That's... Ooh. That really scared people. Um, Full on. There's in the old ones. There's Alcatraz, and there's all that. Oh, what else is Bird Birdman from Alcatraz? Great movie. Yeah, the chef just walked past. Yeah, I, give him a thumbs up. 
And he's, he's looking, looking for recon- he's looking for recognition. We had we you've been eating healthy, yeah. And I we had the Moroccan chicken, and mm. he came out before and saw we were on the doing the podcast. What he's just going to the toilet. I got to have a chat to him. Yeah, and just well, went, I'm going to ask him if he washed what? his hands. <laughs> Did you wash oh. your hands? <laughs> <laughs> Now, what I'm worried about is he's, he's just walked in there now. So I think if he comes out fairly quickly, but if he doesn't come out for a while, we know. No, we, we, we know. And I'm glad that he's done that up. after our sign, meal. Yeah, sign, Seinfeld. Um, so, I'm going to make you a pizza. Okay. Um, would it be wrong for us to – would he find it offensive if we called him over and asked him about Chinese prisons? I think he would. All right. We need some thinking music. What, uh, let's think about what thinking music. Let's think about what thinking, thinking music. music. Um, why don't we? I'm, I've just brought up on my phone hmm. the sound effects from Super Mario Brothers, mm-hmm. and I predict that it will take you back to 1983, mm-hmm. where you've been out for had a few drinks. You didn't pick up any girls. You didn't meet anyone. It's just you and your sounds mate, about right, mate. Dropping into a pizza parlor to buy pizza, yeah, or a kebab or something. A kebab, yeah. and all you hear in the background is just when we sit down to play it while we're waiting for a pizza. Is this a make believe or is this a, we just we painting just, a, we're just painting a picture? Painting a picture. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. So, hang on. We, we, we walk in the door. Hang on. Gee, I thought chases would be better tonight. Didn't meet any girls. No, nah, like always, here it is, two o'clock in the morning, and we're just sitting here, you and me. Oh, oh look, look what's look, over there! Oh, oh man, I'll just okay, hang on. Hey, Frank, one Hawaiian pizza, thanks. Yeah, put your twenty cents in it. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, oh nice one. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I got it. I got. Yeah. It. Oh, hang on a minute. Hey, Dave, there's a couple of attractive girls over there. Should oh. we talk to them? No, we're playing this now. Oh. Ooh. 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 Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, got ya. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Oh. Girls with... Oh. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. The, the girls are Here gone. we go. Right, we can play girls if you want. Yeah. What do you mean we're boring? <laughs> <laughs> this is my Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. We can be... Oh. oh. Oh, game over. <laughs> Can't wait for that pizza. That wasn't oh. real thinking music. No, no. But, but it took but, us back, didn't but, it? But it just set a scene for you, our tragic past, really. Okay, so uh, what's your guess? Uh, my guess is uh, what, what Mark said. Basically, it's still no, going. I'm going to say that uh, well, it's still, still going. going. <laughs> this well, is another one. Free game. That one it's is great music. Love the Super Mario Brothers remastered, um, whatever that is. Yeah, I'm going to say what Mark said. The Chinese. I'm government. going to say differently. I'm going to say Ooh. War of Worldcraft was banned hmm. uh, because it was not within what the Chinese government saw appropriate for its people to play. And if you were caught playing War of Worldcraft, you were sent to jail. Wow. All right. What is the answer, Sam? Mark's right. It happened in 2011. Prison bosses made more money forcing inmates to play games than they do forcing people to do manual labor. There were 300 prisoners forced to play games. Oh, well, that's what that's what your brother said. Well, why didn't I take his advice? Oh, I know. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have been listening to Somehow Related with Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. He, he would know. He's the man to ask. Yeah, there we go. Would somehow related make a good video game? Mm, I don't know. Just two people sitting at the pub, two just people, talking. Two, no, but what would happen is two topics would come up at the top of the screen. Oh. And you've got to shoot the topic yeah. before it gets to the bottom of the screen. Like, mm. it's, say if it was hamburgers and um, frisbees, mm. which we've never done. And that uh, this is not sounding good, is it? Uh, I'm just worried about the chef hasn't come out of the toilet yet. I've got to be honest, did go to the toilet. <laughs> we wanted to commend him on his Moroccan chicken with the quinoa. And ask him about Chinese prisoners. And ask him about Chinese prisoners. And he, now, is there. You a, know what's happened? What? Chinese government have got him. Oh, the words out. Yeah, because they've just turned up and thought, who do we assassinate? He has it's been in there. Obviously, him. It's not, and he's, they've walked past. The ninjas have. Well, they, no, I don't think they're Chinese. They've walked past us. I'd love him to come out now. All right. But he's either in there doing something appropriate or something inappropriate. <laughs> 
<laughs> and, um, like uh, he's got out without. Well, there's another door. But whatever, yeah. it's it's a hell of a long time. Yeah. Maybe there's an exit in there. Oh, look, it, no, uh, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Stay tuned yeah. to this because you'll find out. I'm I'm trying to fill here so he'll walk out. And he's he's not, not walking out. No, no, right. no, no walking out. We're gonna wind it up. Let's wind it up. Thanks for listening. You, you wouldn't turn off though. If I said to you, we're gonna pause it <laughs> until he comes out and then he walks out. No, I don't think he needs that what, pressure. Do you want? Do you want me? How about I go in the toilet? No. <laughs> Just pause it. And, and check the doors. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a right, pause. Okay. Glenn's walking back towards the microphone. I've unpaused it. What has happened? Are we recording? No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you leave it running the whole time? No. Right. I don't want to talk about personal life. Okay. <laughs> but he's still in there. <laughs>